So welcome to this sort of impromptu thingy-magic video of EJ Tech here. And here with me is my blockmate from college, but he already graduated, so I don't know what yeah. we call it. Friends? Friends? Just classmates. Yeah. Explain what the <laughs> f happened yesterday. This is my f. I bought this s sa mall, sa mall na lang. Kasi nababagalan ako sa ano ko eh, sa laptop. So I decided to buy SSD something. My most viewed video now at 600,000 views, like what the f <laughs> is about having both an SSD and a hard drive in a computer at the same time. But the thing about my video is about when the laptop doesn't have an M.2 or M slater slot, you know, that thing that is like a gum, like a stick of gum. Even if you don't have that slot, you can still have both a hard drive and an SSD in your computer. The thing is, <laughs> he didn't ask me first. He didn't consult me or anything. Not like all my other blockmates. When they have questions about tech, they always go to me what phone to get, what upgrades to get, whatever. <laughs> this guy just decided, oh, I want to have an SSD in the computer. He knows the benefits of having an SSD. And he just bought everything. He bought the caddy, well, whatever remains of it. We'll get to this. Um, he bought an SSD at the wrong time because SSDs and RAM is expensive right now. If you asked me first, mm. if you consulted me first, oh, you want to upgrade to an SSD? I would say no, don't buy yet. Wait till later this year when prices for Flash finally goes down. Anyway, something. Type it's two, a two. gaming laptop. Like it's, it's a proper gaming laptop with a quad core i7, a GTX 950. Yeah, it's kind of old. Like I think it's we bought this a year ago or yeah. so. Yeah. So GTX 950. That makes sense. This laptop has an M.2 slot. <laughs> he could have just made this thing way easier. He could have just bought an M.2 M SATA SSD, and that's it. So here's the first <laughs> up he did. He bought the wrong sized um, caddy. Which in my video, it's in the description, it's in the pinned comment, my comment, to measure your old hard drive, uh, old DVD drive first so you get the correct height for this. Oy, just... tinanong ko naman, sabi, sabi nung nagbenta sa akin, pare-pareho lang yan, so yeah, maniwala naman. Yeah, some salespeople <laughs> being, um, you know, they're salespeople. He spent good money on a 2.5 inch hard drive. So now we have to deal with having this thing instead of just having an M.2. But now we have to deal with an oversized, actually over height caddy. You buy another one of these caddies, another 700 pesos. That's what we're going to Gilmore. And we're going to have to meet up again. Or, we're going to use these bad boys. <laughs> We're gonna be reducing the height of this caddy. So what we're gonna do is make this caddy work even though it doesn't natively fit. reduced the height of this piece of the caddy and then Rana over here is reducing the height of the plastic bit inside the caddy mainly because it's the part that would actually hold the hard drive in place I mean if this is an SSD that's going in there we could just put it with some tape and we'll be fine the problem is we want the SSD to get full SATA 3 speeds and you can only get that inside the laptop not in the where the optical drive is and now it fits so it fits perfectly inside we're doing it while Windows is currently cloning onto that SSD so alright we have good clearance 
this part over here. Hmm. All right. Macrium Reflect decided to not work properly. So instead, we will be using Mini Tool Partition Wizard. Now, the reason, even though this software is capable of doing cloning, it has to reboot and then start in, in its own environment instead of just doing it while Windows is running. So I think Mini Tool would do a better job in case Macrium Reflect doesn't work. Mainly because as you can see here, it actually stops the operating system completely and then boots into its own environment. Currently placing my test hard drive first before we put anything expensive in it. <laughs> this is an old 80 gigabyte hard drive. We basically chopped off some height from height from it. All right, small adjustment. We needed to move the holes down a bit. Alright, so we have placed the, I'm gonna call it the chopped up caddy, or the beheaded caddy. And there we go, there's the 80 gigabyte test hard drive I have. after the break it is now seven at night I have done check disk again but this time I did check disk slash R which is a check disk that is a much lower level check disk and now we are 89% in the cloning process my blockmate is just tired so we have successfully cloned Windows to the SSD and then you just drag the hard drive to the top. F10, save config, yes. Thirty seconds. Even I still get amazed, like I take this for granted. The speed of an SSD. I take that for granted. When I go to a computer with a hard drive, like... We're gonna be erasing the hard drive, hard disk drive. Make sure you don't delete your partitions, you know, don't your, where Windows is currently running. You wanna delete the ones from your hard disk, you can tell because it's bigger. And now, delete all, apply. And now we format it as NTFS, default cluster, right, apply.
there we go. So I would recommend you to move your your documents, pictures, movies, those things to here. Since you're starting from scratch from an empty drive, um, you know, start organizing your files. Take this opportunity mm -hmm. to organize your files. How big is this? Almost a terabyte. Mm -hmm. You have a, almost a terabyte of mass storage for your stuff that don't need fast access. And then you have SSD for Windows applications and maybe one or two of your favorite games depending on the size of your games. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're done. <laughs> yes. Thanks. So. Oh, shit. <laughs> I'm, I'm not used to vlogging. <laughs> Liker's gonna like. Hater's gonna hate. Subscribe. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my future videos. And thank you for watching. <laughs> Follow me on Twitter at TechieBango. I'm not sure if people still use Flickr, but I use it anyway. Say goodbye, Rana. Bye. Next time, don't impulse buy with tech. Always <laughs> consult with me first.